Is there any spaceship in all of sci-fi more beautiful than the Enterprise D? No, there isn't. I do prefer the uh, refit version with the three nacelles. Actually, nacelle was in the last episode of Next Generation. But that's sort of it. And here's a little figure that I've had for a thousand years. I've no idea where I got it from or even who made it. But it is about a thousand years old and it's quite small. But I never really had many models of the old Starship Enterprise, even though it was my favourite thing. So um, recently, I went shopping to see if I could find one, specifically of the one with three nacelles. And I found one! I'll have you know, I may have wept openly when this arrived. <laughs> I mean, come on, that's just fucking beautiful. This, hang on, let's whip it off the stand. Boop. This is, I believe, from Diamond Select, is that right? Are there the people like, I can't remember. Um, apparently they made these sort of back in 2014-ish. And I managed to just stumble upon one by chance, and I saw it and I went, oh! and immediately purchased it, and I will never regret that decision, because, oh my god, it's a fucking huge version of the Enterprise-D. Um, all good things, variant. <sighs> it's, isn't, it, isn't it just... It just it's One thing, this is what I want from a collector's version, because this isn't really a collector's thing, this is more a toy. This really is a toy more than a collector's thing. It's not exact, it's not perfect, but it's fucking huge and cheap, and that's brilliant for me. Um, there's a little button here. It's quite difficult to get to, but if I push that... The lights come on! Hang on, let me turn my... It's still day out here. It's pissing down, but it's still technically day. But maybe you'll actually be able to see the lights a bit better. If I go like that. Oh. <laughs> come on, man! This is the best thing I've ever owned in my entire life, ever. Look, even the deflector dish. Oh, it's just... Oh. I like Star Trek. I like Star Trek a lot. This thing takes a shit ton of batteries in there, and also batteries in here, because if you press this bit here... It makes noises and shit. In fact, if I turn these off... Oh, I actually turned off. My only issue with this is it has sometimes has quite dodgy electrics that don't seem to actually do the things that I want it to do at the times I want it to do them. Um, however, most of the time it does now. I'm going to click this. That's it. Raise the shield. So, how are you going to do? Just raise the shields. Well, raise them then. I just play all of them. I have an issue with Warp 13, but we'll carry on. <laughs> I'm going to talk about the episode. Oh, do you remember the ship was like, came in and it was like fucking vertical and shit, and I was like, what? <laughs> and then they relive the day again. If you've not seen this episode, you're being very confused why it's got Warp 13 in the cloak. Or maybe you're not a nerd. Ah, the jingly jangly bits. I think that's all of them we've done all. I'm going to assume we've now done them all, but have we shown off every feature of this thing? No, we have not, because... <laughs> it's a shitting standoff. And because I will, I'd like to point out also that as soon as I found out this range was a thing, I went, uh, I've gone and bought as much of it as I possibly could, so expect more starships over the next few weeks. I'll try and bundle them together a bit, maybe, I don't know. Um, although they do have very massively varying quality. They all seem to work now, but they did take some time to get going. This one does one more thing. One more beautiful, brilliant thing. Are you ready? I mean, it's even detailed under here once you've separated the source section, apart from the bits that you need to connect on, but that's just the battle bridge and everything. I mean, that's just... It's just the coolest fucking thing. That's the coolest thing. There are lots of things, and some of them are cool, and this one's the coolest one. Engage cloak! Ah, oh, shit. 
And then it crashes and it goes, oh, shit. <sighs> Every Star Trek nerd watching this has immediately purchased one. They do do a regular Enterprise D as well. However, that's a shite ton of money and I can't afford it. They also do an original Enterprise, also a shite ton of money. The way this also connects back on... Fucking magnets in it. Yeah, really strong magnets holding it together. So it separates nice and easy. Now once Riker's finished exploding things. When you want to connect it, it really it's got a pull. You can see this got up. I mean if I'm not holding the damn thing, you can see the pull. <laughs> Wee. Anyway, back on there you go. And we'll now put that back on its stand and we will do final thoughts. Uh, I managed to pick this up for about £80, I think it was. I don't know how much it retailed for, but £80 for that. Yes. Yes. For literally a massive version of my favourite ship with source of separation and the fact I can just leave the fucking lights on and just enjoy it. I forgot to turn the lights back on for the rest of that video. I'm sorry. But look how cool that looks. Look at that. That's a ship. It's a beautiful ship, but it's a ship. That. That's fucking childhood come to life and it's brilliant and I love it and I love it and there may be more of these. I'm kidding, there definitely will be more of these.